Ciao Curry Geeks! Today we are gonna cook ham. We're gonna cook a nice whole piece of ham inside the air fryer. For today's recipe, I choose the Kosori air fryer, one of my favorite of all the time. It's gonna be a really delicious holiday ham that you can use during the holiday or whatever you find a nice piece of ham. Let's check it out. All right, first off, this is my beautiful piece of ham. It's five pounds, about it. The first thing that we need to make sure that it fits inside the air fryer. And obviously, in order to cook this ham, we need to wrap in foil because we don't want to get the skin too much burnt. Now, the first thing we want to do is, as always, preheat our air fryer. We need very nice and hot air fryer, and then we start cooking. Okay, I set up my Kosori air fryer at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. Before introducing my ham inside the air fryer, the first thing we want to do is score the skin. So, and now I'm gonna apply some gloves here. Okay, so I have this piece like this. I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, after we wrapped up the ham really nice and tight because we don't want the aluminum to stay too much in contact in a heating element, I have here prepared three fourths of a cup of water. The water will help to maintain a little bit of moisture inside our, sorry, so I'm gonna just take it out, take the basket out, and put a little bit of this three quarter of water, of water, just a little bit of water, okay? Put in, back, and then we will put the ham facing down like this. It fits nicely, perfectly. This is about five pounds of ham, so make sure to measure before putting inside. And now I'm gonna cook this ham for 20 minutes. While my ham is cooking for the first 20 minutes, I'm gonna proceed by creating a nice glaze. Now, my glaze is it's very easy to make. It's gonna be a raw glaze, meaning that we're not gonna cook it. We're gonna apply directly as it is. So I need to create a sort of paste. The first element of my glaze is a half cup of honey. Then I'm gonna put in, nice. Obviously, the main ingredient of my wonderful glaze is this Barolo vinegar from Massimo Bottura. Massimo Bottura is one of my favorite chefs all the time. It is one of the best in the world. Absolutely amazing, incredible ingredients. I found it 65% off in William Sonoma. So I grabbed one bottle, but probably should have grabbed a couple because it is a beautiful ingredient. It goes very well with this glaze. Obviously, this is a little bit of a stretch, but we want to be fancy. Let's open up this beautiful Wow, it smells sweet, fantastic. I'm gonna put just one third of a cup, just to give, uh, you know, this um, this great, amazing Italian touch, and this uh, sourness and sweetness that we're looking to create, like the perfect place. That's in. After this beautiful vinegar, I'm gonna put half cup of light brown sugar. And then I'm gonna put one and a half teaspoon of mustard powder in. Now, after I transferred everything in, I'm just trying to incorporate all the ingredients. Look at that, wow. Obviously, feel free to use any vinegar of your choice. Uh, I, I can see that apple cider vinegar, this works pretty good. You can even choose to go with uh, something else like orange juice, for example. All right, I'm a little bit more than the 20 minutes, so 23 minutes. I'm gonna take out my ham, it's pretty warm. I, I have prepared here another aluminum foil for the ham, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip it over and then open up. I just grab a little bit of uh, uh, brown. Nice. Now I'm gonna close back the ham, okay? Nice and close. I'm gonna cook this for other 20 minutes. All right, Coolery Geeks, I'm super excited. Last 10 minutes, the best part. Take it out. Now I'm gonna create a sort of barrier for the, 
for the liquid to stay neat, right? All right, I have my beautiful glaze. I'm gonna give it another mix. And then I'm gonna use the brush to brush on top of it. Okay. Now the last part of the cooking is gonna be as it is outside. We want a nice caramelized exterior. I'm gonna now place this back for the last five to 10 minutes. For the last, for the last five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna raise the temperature of my coaster at 400 degrees maximum. We want a lot of caramelization going on. All right, so finishing this beautiful ham. And here we go. <sighs> Looks beautiful. It smells absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna take the ham out, start to cut a little bit, and then we will try. I can wait. All right, I just take out from the Kosori my beautiful ham. Look at this. Looks absolutely beautiful. Wow, smells amazing. I'm gonna start to cut from this side. Let's see. Wow. Look at that. I'm gonna try to cut as thin as possible. The skin is nice and crispy and inside is super moist. Look at that. I'm gonna cut a piece and try. Mm. Wow. Wow. Amazing. So good. Sweet. The spice from the gloves. The Barlow vinegar. This is amazing and super easy to do. This is a perfect ham during the holiday, after the holiday, before the holiday, for a sandwich, for whatever you want. This is absolutely amazing. Try it out. Cooking the fry it's easier, kind of faster. And it's absolutely great. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fryer recipes, tips and tricks to get the best out of a fryer, or if you want to see if it is worth or not buying a fryer. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next.